Hello there everyone and welcome back. It has sadly been another few weeks since my last episode, but we are still itching, inching ever so closer to the final two missions, for I really am hoping this Gorilla Op we're about to do is going to be the final one before we actually unlock the Avatar Autopsy research. And the reason I want to do this Gorilla Op, besides skip it entirely, is since we don't know what two of these dark events are, they could make things really difficult for me in the final few missions. Never mind the fact this missed shot return fire for officers and priests, while technically not a big deal if I execute right, can still make it more difficult. And like I said, these two hidden events could be very problematic. So I think I'm going to try and negate one of them, get the intels of bonus there, because I want to try and preserve and build that up in case I don't have the intel to kind of like get all the bonuses I need for the four-man squad, or rather the three-man squad mission, the first part of Final 2. So I want to be able to make that as lo at least increase the chances of that being a big success for me while minimizing the risk, and this is going to be my squad I'm going to be feeling there. I'm hoping to get uh, Scythe her final rank inch, since she is kind of like, what is it, about 30 experience away? So this could be her day. Also, I did decide to spend a good amount of my XCOM AP to give her tactical rigging for, was it, the Talon Rounds, as well as give Batman his additional Judgment trait, which of course, 25 AP, that was kind of expensive. So I'm hoping I don't regret this, but if it causes panics for the final two missions, make my life a lot easier as a result, then it's definitely worth its weight in gold. Otherwise, everything's pretty straightforward. All my other soldiers are pretty much maxed out. The trick is is to minimize the amount of will damage on them. So that way they can recover in time for the final mission and not be susceptible to like mind control effects. Never mind panicking and all that crap that we may have to deal with, huh? That's the idea anyway. Let's get it on. There's nothing else really to talk about. Aside from maybe if I get lucky, I could Skulljack get additional bonuses that way. And also... Well, we are defending a relay, I gotta remember too. I almost forgot about that fact that we are gonna be possibly on a strict clock if we have to worry about a gatekeeper or some kind of giant uh, advent soldier trying to destroy the relay. Since I don't quite remember how much health that damn thing has, even with, uh, was it, the extended timers and everything having double health, that thing may die relatively quickly since I have no idea again on what kind of health it's going to have until I get actual fission of it. But once I engage them, maybe I should be alright. I just want to avoid a, fail a failure on the just as we're about to knock on the alien's uh, front door, as it were. So this should go pretty damn well. It has been before even with my sloppy play. But again, part of that is me just rushing it a tiny bit, which could be a bit of a fault, but I am going to have to put some serious effort in our final episodes to come, and this is just this way to get me prepared for that. That ultimately was what this is. Oh, already we find encountered. Really? Really? At least it's a turret that can't really do anything, but still, really? I don't know how I should feel about this with my Casil sort of being broken. Yeah, Casil's broken on everyone, damn it. Well, that's unfortunate. This reminds me of the dang uh, supply raid with the damn Berserker. Well, we have no choice now. Thankfully, I do have a Phantom and I do have Scythe to kind of spot for me. And apparently, I think these turrets are taking up some troop slots as well for me to engage. But how do we open up? Without a doubt, it's going to involve some shredding. I need to make sure this thing dies if I'm going to try and do anything aggressive. Since otherwise, the other turret I think will have like squad sight maybe, or at least may have means to shoot at me if this thing's still alive. I could be wrong, since that's how my turrets function for when I was defending the Avenger. But nonetheless, start off with a shred. There goes a good chunk of your armor. Well, that was weird. I. I was under the assumption your Kivsia was already ruined, sort of. Maybe I've got confused. I got really confused just because of that start. Let's be honest. And you have a combat protocol and I'm going to use you as my fail safe. Since that is 12 to 13 damage. But I don't want to burn it ideally. 
Without a doubt, I could also haywire it. I don't think I want to resort to that just yet. Maybe haywire the other one for good measure, but this one, since it's already crippled and probably not in a good spot anyway, I just want to kill that thing. And where can I go for Batman? Is that actually is useful? Half cover, apparently. He can get the kill, he could get a hair trigger if I'm so lucky. And I gotta remember to make use of Battle Lord when we get into the sick of it. Not quite enough. Although Scythe can get the kill. Because once it, yeah, once it's the kill, she will keep her concealment after all with, what is it, Silent Killer, is it? Yep. So this makes my decision easy. Yes, 0% chance, the UI is kind of covering up a little bit, but at this point we understand how the mechanics of that dang ability even works with my shadow. So I don't think I need it anyway, and you got squad sight. I could shoot at you, I just... Well, I don't know what my chances are to haywire you, so I kind of want to reserve you for my uh, hack if I want. Yeah, I think I want to reserve you for hacking. It's, the downside is I'm going to activate any squad that's within your reach. Oh, you're still a phantom. I, I, for a moment I thought you were a different ranger for some reason, but we're going to use you to kind of patrol and scout around a bit. Really weird, awkward start. Needless to say, but we can use this to our advantage too, at least with the second turret. Oh, so there's the gatekeeper. So that thing's chipping it down 11 health at a time. That fire terrifies me, because it may just... Ooh, this is going to activate him. Unfortunately, I had to miss a 73% chance. Which really bites, which really stinks, so what happens next? The sooner I fight these things, the better, in, in all seriousness. Because at least that way, I can sprint towards the objective faster. Haywiring is still a possibility. Who does the haywiring? I forget who has the best hacking potential. 60% probably not worth it. I just probably seriously just avoid your fission. Let me just see if you have uh Well, am I actually able to see your traits? I was just curious if it had a uh, squad sight, which I'm gonna guess it does not. So I'm free to do whatever I want so long as I'm out of its fission. And one of those is a sentinel from the looks of it too. And did I give you the Shadow Strike? No, it's just Shadow Step. So concealment doesn't really matter as far as how effective you're going to be, J-Pod. So I'm contempt I'm tempting to just get as close as I can to maximize your hit chance with that said. And Batman, you cannot grapple anywhere. You do have combat presence, which would be amazing for said shotgun shot. I'm a little bit worried of the Overwatch shot that might trigger from the Sentinel. With that said, who overwatches? I think I'm going to overwatch with one of my uh, specialists, mainly because I won't get the option to move anyway to get a shot off. And the Sentinel's probably going to overwatch again. I'm willing to bet, which is why I want this aid protocol handy. And that did not overwatch because it did not activate. It will next turn, or will this turn, once I sprint into its fission, I believe. Yep, I'm still going to be in vision when I get revealed. And you technically still see it. Heading out. I just am trying to remember. Yeah, your bond mate's in here, so maybe I get Sevlana to shoot at that Archon first. For obvious reasons, it's a, got armor, we gotta shred it. Oh, actually it doesn't. Oh. That is not what I wanted. That honestly is not what I wanted, an actual panic. Which kind of stinks. I could jump over there. I do have the means with an Icarus jump. Just gonna be in a bad position if I do that. Since, what do I see? The turret sees me there. I am willing to attempt it. The more aggressive the better, and I should have fission of this, right? Yes, that's what it tells me. And fission of the turret, which is part of the reason I'm concerned about this movement. Now, what's our hit chance looking? If I were to shoot you. Why am I hitting one and nothing's happening? Yeah, it worked there. That's weird. I don't know why it didn't want to work that time. The first attempt to try and shoot at that thing. And you're going to be in half cover. Maybe I do. Well, I could shut down the turret easy. That may be. 
That might exactly be what Miss job is, since she can't shoot the Archon. Unless that changed, maybe it's in Fission now. I'm gonna have to check that before I decide. I could suppress, chain shot. There's a lot of fun things I could do. It's a 71% chance. Don't know how I like it. Considering 86 is definitely better. And you have hollow targeting. Let's not forget about that. All this time I was thinking, thank you for the damn miss though, is it, it was the bond bonus, the plus 10% accuracy. But I completely forgot about our better trait, which is hollow targeting, the combo with that. It immediately negates the dead eye penalty. Was it the minus 25 penalty of that as well as rapid fire? Which I think this warrants a rapid fire. Get two shots, maybe kill this thing immediately. Well, it's gonna die no matter what, and I can shut down the other turret easy. Eh, that's practically minimum damage right there, sadly. And I can't even remember what my chance to crit was, mainly because I wasn't looking. But, Mist, you cannot see our friend, the Archon, so just hack the other. Hack the turret, shut it down. Oh yeah, I forgot about tactical readiness as well, which is gonna be a big deal. But, take a nap. Oh, I could have got the hack too. Hell, I could have got the hack and whatever other try. Tri what is it? Tridiary bonus that might have existed in XCOM if it ever was there. So that thing's all sorts of shut down. Hell, that thing's stunned for a turn and a half. If I'm understanding that right, that lost three action points. How the hell did that? Is that because the gremlin got upgrade maybe? Or is that something I'm not aware of with the dang turret? Mainly because, like, sectopods, if I were to ever shut them down, do technically have three actions to them. I don't want to find out in all seriousness, if I were to be honest. I just want to shoot this Archon and kill it. More hits, I like it. You're still in rage. Ooh, hair trigger, perfect. Just keep those shots coming then. Just zone it on your target and keep hitting. Please, another one. Please, more. I'll, please, sir, I would like more hit triggers. Not this time. So I guess that's Batman's job? Hell, Scythe could do that. I just gotta make sure it's an actual kill if I'm gonna commit to that. Which stands the reason for Batman to shoot first because of his weapon's a lot more weaker. So by all means, take the shot. You're not really gonna get a critical hit, but it'll soften him up nicely. And if somehow Scythe doesn't get the kill, the fire sure as hell well. Ooh, hair trigger, perfect. And you have... Oh, I thought you had arm piercing rounds. No, I gave you the... The dragon rounds. So we'll hang on to that for a moment. Before shooting at the turret, at least. I'm on the move. A patrol is upwind. Okay, good thing I poked up a few. Muton... Muton Prime and a Guardian. I'm not gonna shoot you, though. But for some reason, my one key refused to work again there. This is weird. Unless my keyboard's acting up again. That has happened before for some of my videos, which is really irritating. But it seems to be working fine here, so I don't know why those two attempts it didn't want to work. And a critical hit when we didn't even need it. Sadly, no promotion yet, but I'm hoping it will happen if I can keep feeding her the kills. And I gotta remember, if I shoot them, that activates them. I do not like that prospect just yet. Well, if I do, technically, if I do activate them, they will only get a single action point, aside for the Prime. Let's for, not forget about that. I am really tempted to actually take the shot anyway. Since the Shield Bear will be out in the open, I can kill his shield easily. Oh, they probably are going to see Batman. Never mind the fact they are going to move when I activate him, too. So maybe the, I'm oversinking it some. But nonetheless, let's keep shooting this turret. Let's get ready, let's get ready to kill it for next turn. Since I don't think I want to resort to hacking it. And Nanya, if I could get high ground for you, that'd be amazing. But you have no options available to you. So you're just gonna hang there. You have steady hands, actually. So you're gonna get a nice aim bonus for next turn to help alleviate that. Oh, you're gonna Overwatch on him too. Let's keep that in mind. That one hex was all she needed to, to pull that trigger. At least I kind of prefer that, activating them on their turn. And there's the other two pods. So far, 20 damage. The other, the fire could destroy a relay if I'm so unlucky. And there's our sentinel. 
You did not act... I... I don't know if you activate or not. That's what I'm terrified to find out in all seriousness. It may be some weird glitch with the Prime in conjunction with them activating that may have negated that, as weird as it may sound. But I have priorities. I can... I want to frost bomb them in case they did activate it. That's my priority, and I can always bond worst case. Although J-Pot's not going to get to do a whole lot next turn. Since of his bad position, he can't Icarus jump. Since it is on a one turn cooldown, I believe. So get the shot. Leave him out of the equation, never mind the fact that his frost bomb's literally the counter to primes in general. They can't react when they're frozen. Never mind the fact panicking all... Well, I don't know if panicking's true or not. But if they're mind controlled, that actually works to my advantage. So I found with the Archon Prime I dominated way back when at the Forge, I think it was. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm mumbling. I cannot Icarus jump like I said, so J-Paw's role is a little limited. Can't even get a slash in, sadly. So he's going for a wild shot. Oh. Well, this is going well. At least they finally hit something with their damn panic. That's the one plus in this regard. I just want to shoot that prime because... Really? 55% is not that great? And Civilon already took a shot? Well, I think there's an aim bonus because I shot a frost bomb at them. Let's see about killing off this Archon first before I do anything. And I gotta keep in mind... You cannot haywire protocol, oddly enough, when Mist was further back behind and was able to do that. So don't ask me how that works. I do have combat protocol still, which I think is what I want to do for this turn. This. To shut down that turret quickly. Can How can I do it in the least actions possible, though? I need three points of damage, so that sounds like something Batman might do. Do I want to do it with a whiplash? It is a free action, technically. What else can you shoot at, though, before I decide on that? Not really a lot. He can raft the turret. That is not a terrible idea. It gets him in point blank range. Only thing that scares me since we know... Well, actually I'm safe. There was a mech squad here, so they probably won't see me. So I'm gonna raft, get in point blank, shoot the Archon. And I don't think it panicked, so it lost its overwatch anyway if it even had one. And I don't think there's any point to Battle Lord. Let's do this. No way you can miss a turret, right? And that should do the damage needed. There, combat protocol will finish that off. Help us shoot the Archon. Yep, 87%. No point in you slashing, you could grapple somewhere. Hell, Whiplash might be required here. But also would be good against the heavy mech. So we'll just take our shots, hope for maybe a hair trigger. And I don't think I have any armor piercing besides uh, Sevlana, who already used the Frost Bomb, mind you. And I do have Deadeye as well as Sting for... I could also use a Claymore. Claymore is not a terrible idea, but only if it can kill the turret, which it can't with 8 damage, mind you. It would be a good way to shred armor, as an alternative at least, but not here. And I want to get as close as I can anyway. Why the hell can't the turret see you? Somehow I feel like the game is lying to me a tiny bit. Let me at least kill the turret so at least my conscience feels a little bit better about this circumstance. And you can kill zone. Well, you could dead eye. I love the potential of dead eye for that Archon. And then you can reload. And a bond would be amazing here too if I don't move with Scythe at all. I want to try and give Scythe as many kills as possible with that said. And it is 77%. I take that back. Still worth trying for such health pool we have to deal with. It is... Now who my case panicked. So I got myself a little bit of room anyway to deal with these things. J-Pod, you can't do a whole lot there, so just help shoot the Prime for us. Nice. You got the good hit there. Nice critical hit at that. Now combat protocol, finish off our turret, which is the only thing that's actually going to act this turn. I hope I did the, looked at that right, because the mods sh always show minimum damage as far as the highlight. 
So yeah, that was a kill. Since for a moment I was worried maybe it wasn't actually going to kill it because in the fin before mods, before the UI enhancements from mods, it always showed the maximum potential damage on your attacks, which in the case there it showed it highlight all the damage that it could potentially do. Well, actually with the mods it's minimum damage, but you know what I mean. There was a moment where I was worried it may not kill it, is what I'm trying to say. And you can only shoot the Archon, which is fine by me. And I don't need to use a bond. Just shoot him. We're gonna try and kill our Archon this turn, and maybe j Pog can single-handedly kill off the other one. Still a lot of health to get through. So I'm tempted just to bond, so that way I can kill it off this turn. Me worst case, I'll probably use Sting, if it doesn't look like I can get the kill with uh, Scythe. Rupture would be amazing, but that's like an opener, but it's guaranteed 100% hits all around. Can't say no to that. Maybe we get the 10% crit? Come on. Ah, uh, not quite. The armor is keeping it alive right now since it took like 4 or 5 shots with that armor. So I think that's the plan. We'll just sting. Use our one sting there to help contribute, and we have a decent chance to crit. I do have Shadow, if things go wrong. So actually, maybe just try shoot this thing again. It's Panic, so maybe I'm not worried. And this has a really good chance to critically hit. This has good potential to do a lot of damage, so I think I'm going to do this instead. Wow. I didn't expect it to just straight up kill it, mind you. But it works. That justifies that strategy completely. Now we're just going to have to shred your armor and kill you off. Third attack. Oh, and that's a two, maybe three mech squad there. Got to be cautious of. And I do have a scan protocol to at least get confirmation of what we're dealing with. But what's our concern? Well, I want to try to kill off both these pods this turn, is what it is. So, simply put, I shred your armor with Sevlana. Absolutely. Could maybe done a rage strike, that was an idea. Oh no, I couldn't. I was looking at suppression and thinking that was the rage strike. But hundreds all around, you give everyone aim bonus. And a critical hit to boot. So maybe j Pod could single-handedly kill you. I like that potential. I'm on it. So let's do it. Again, if possible, Scythe gets to kill. Wow, Scythe could just get to kill anyway. I wasn't expecting to be that screwed. And there's no point in rapid firing. So just shoot, maybe you kill it. Damn. That sucks. Oh well. I know Scythe's gonna get the kill on the shield bear, so our priority again is this Archon. I just don't have any other fallback uh, shredding, but this thing already took a world of damage. Can uh, What's the best way to kill it, though, with that said? I have a combat protocol. Miss just needs fission. I'm on it. Is that actually a good idea? Probably not with a plasma rifle. You would think not. Seven damage minimum. Where's my... Oh, you don't have combat protocols. Haywire protocol. So never mind that mist. I underestimate what you had there. Or overestimate your potential. Still, it's a, a hit's a hit, so long as it hits. Thank you. Still was what? What? The minimum damage? So not that exciting. You're going to sadly need to reload their Scythe. So can you get the hit I want of you? Yes, you can. Eight to nine minimum. So... Do it. Kill it. So far, so good. Giving her those talent rounds is certainly helpful. She's yet to realize her full potential, and sadly, she's never going to be able to compare to a ranger, because I think her max critical hit chance was that 70-ish percent, maybe? As opposed to 95 with j and all my other rangers. I'm going to have to gain point-blank range to know that for certain, though. Since the critical hit chance does increase the closer I get. And you could just kill Zarkon right now. Hell, Archon will die to a fire. Let's not kid ourselves. Perfect. Batman, well you have free reload, so we're not worried there. I just what kind of uh autoloader? Ooh, superior. Perfect. Everyone move on up and get ready. And Ananya, if it's at all possible, I would love you to take advantage of this building. 
it may not work if we're gonna fight indoors. Okay. At least you only need a single action to shoot with that dang sniper rifle, though. And it's gonna be tricky to utilize steady hands anyway. Only exception is I used the shred storm can to blow a massive hole in that building. And but if I'm gonna blow a massive hole in the building, I'm probably gonna have to do it on the right side here. I'm just wondering if the shred storm can can do what I hope of it, which is make a big window for Ananya to actually get shots on the high, from the high ground. Then she's going to be invaluable with kill zone and a whole bunch of other abilities. Is that the same squad I saw earlier, or is this a different one? Only one way to find out, I guess. I guess I'm. I suppose I'm waiting a turn. Pure fire officer, yeah, there's three more paws to deal with. So we're not done yet. You may have to stay where you are there, Ananya. I hate the idea of auto-loading, so you can use a reload or kill zone. Hmm, do I even open up with you? I need to find a window to use cereal on you, but again, my strategy is trying to give Scythe all the kills. Realistically. And they're only going to get a single action point, but that doesn't matter when a heavy mech's going to shoot a rocket anyway at me. I want to avoid that injury. And I don't get to option the Haywire Protocol just yet, so I don't know how likely it is to jam that. Ananya can trade activate him though with an Overwatch still. So I think I can afford this. Just get a little bit closer, so maybe I can grapple up there next turn. Where can I grapple with that said? Not the most convenient spot. I could grapple up there anyway now, maybe? How close? It still says I have squad sight. I'm a little bit worried maybe I'll get spotted if I try and move there. Like, you're one hex away of being spotted, so... With that said, you're not going there, Sevlana. Since I believe they still have the extended vision over what I have. Demon, you just get a little bit forward, or at least side strafe, I guess, a little bit. Ooh, and you can haywire protocol. Only 50% chance, but you can stun it for a turn. So we'll hang on to that. Activate him on their turn. Avoid a lot of hassle that way. Ideally. And maybe, if I'm so lucky, get a bunch of free overwatch shots in the process. If I am so lucky, and Batman can grapple up there too for a handful of free shots, I love the potential. And Scythe, no one is even aware you exist in the world, and that is not an uh, insult. You are going to take full advantage of that. Activate him, please, Ananya. Good hit on the officer, I like it. And she has Tracer Rounds, which increases her chance to hit. Otherwise, I probably would have used Venom Rounds. Well, that, that wasn't expecting that to be a 25 to hit, but I will happily take that shred. Can we kill the officer off? One more hit might do it, especially with hollow targeting. Ooh, and a critical hit too. Perfect. So that's what, 50-ish damage? I want to say that's close to half its damage gone. That freaked me out a bit. They don't see us. Which is sort of good. How They don't see me if I go up here. Hi there, Nanya. We got a nice fancy poster of you. How convenient is it that you're going to do your best work while above a poster of you? And I kind of want to utilize Serial. I'm not going to lie. And I can activate them. We're going to have to deal with a bunch of mechs with that said. Can, and you can get the full cover. It's not a terrible idea. You shred its armor. I like this potential a lot. It is tricky. Because it gives me a window to maybe shred storm as well. And you have salvo, right? Yeah, I think I gave you salvo. No, you don't have salvo. I'm wrong. That would have been amazing. How the hell did you not activate that pod? I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask, just go with it, and, well, sadly the Shredstorm can doesn't have as much spread as I thought it would, and I'm wondering if I should destroy that canister too, but, 
With that said, where's our dang objective? I'd rather not hit that. Yeah, let's not cause more collateral damage, especially since apparently I'm not going to hit the one mech. I just can't for life me remember where our other one is, the right mech. And if... Well, I don't know if I want to hit the gatekeeper with that said, since I don't have a psy optive. Let's try this. I hope I hit both of them. Yep, I hit him. And I think I hit the sectoid. That may have been a bad mistake. May have. It's a perfect opportunity for Battle Lord. Just maybe not for me. Well, that smokescreen is the best thing I can ask for. Battle Lord is not uh, perfect for his situation. Batman, where can you grapple? Probably the best spot I could ask you. Let's give this skill a try. This is my first time using it. Oh, you actually see objective. Oh, I was worried for nothing. Rushing it for nothing. And now we're going to use Battle Lord. Wait, does... Really, that ends the turn. That sounds really counterintuitive, considering we're using a skirmisher. And I could use explosives. Probably not a good idea. What's the biggest threat? Easily the heavy mechs, because they're just going to shoot rockets no matter what. Even with tactical analysis. Since they don't use cover anyway. Hair trigger, perfect. This happily makes it worth it for me not using Battle Lord immediately. I kind of want to activate the gatekeeper and all that as well for said Battle Lord. In case they get a vision of Batman. But Battle Lord is activated. Well, I just want to make sure if there was anything else I want to do. Well, you look cool. I don't know what the hell is with the highlight, mind you, but you suddenly turned into a prime unit. Or, no, you just turned into a ruler, which I am perfectly fine with, too. But those heavy mechs need to die if I'm going to have a Nanya here as well. And she has Serial. She also has Death from Above, so arguably Serial is pointless. Since this needs a kill anyway. you will refund all my actions, though, which, again, doesn't really matter. With that said, sort of. I'm going to activate anyway, I suppose. If she at least has that for her, her main plasma rifle, which is more meant for Dark Lance. Doesn't accommodate her the best when she has Rupture that takes three ammo and kill zone, which shoots at anything that moves, basically, or takes an action. Oh, you may not even kill that, now I realize. Hopefully you kill it. I'm going to try it. Perfect. Serial? Well, let's not forget about Death from Above. That's the thing too, you know. But take your free reload. And, you, well, I have no idea if your free re reload is still available or not, but... J-Pod, I want you to shoot this other mech. And we'll save your last Icarus jump for something more valuable. Ooh, and because, uh... Was it, Sevlana decided to punch this thing? It helps you. You get a good accuracy chance with a rapid fire. Please murder it. I want one critical hit. Give it to me. Damn impressive, but not quite a kill, sadly. Which works for a Scythe, all seriousness. But do I want to shoot at something else, like the Officer? Oh, never mind, Officer's already dead. And the Purifier's actually a joke. So I think we're all good here. You cannot see a mech, sadly. So maybe... We try and deal... Well, I could actually haywire that thing. Who am I kidding? Let's do this. We are perfectly safe here. So Battle Lord was complete waste is what I'm learning here. A little unfortunate. We're not going to get to see... To, well, actually, I'll work on the purifier. So at least it's going to do something. If nothing else. Now, this is where we roll the natural one, is it? I consider that close enough. To be reasonably afraid of taking that roll. So does that say shut down for three as well, or is it just two? Yes. So that I think my Gremlin just got more powerful with that said, since I know those mechs only have two actions to them. And Scythe, again I want you to get the kill. You're not actually seen, so you should be fine unless you somehow miss. So to alleviate that, let's get you closer. And what's your chance to hit without the cover being a consideration? 
So you would get 78% if this was like a flank on a purifier or something. Not too shabby. We could get up to 80%, I think, if you were right next to them. Ooh, and you finally got your promotion. Perfect. I think all my roster is ready for the final missions. Do I want to kill you? I can rapid fire you. But again, I think I want to save that for a gatekeeper. Because you're kind of a joke otherwise, let's be serious. And I'm going to save Rupture for the same reason. Since I don't have the convenience of a stasis to stop that thing. Oh, I overwatch with you when I probably should have took a shot. This would be good enough, maybe. No, apparently he still had cover. Thank God. For a moment I was a little bit worried that was a... Uh... Oh, Battle Lord takes effect. Perfect. How do we take advantage of this? Well, we can pull him. But then if he explodes, that would suck. And it has armor, so I don't think I want to shoot it anyway. So, fine. Shoot the mech. Maybe get a hair trigger. I do like this ability. It's just a shame we're not getting much value out of it this turn. Unless somehow Batman activates on that. Nope. Not this case. And... And Nanya can shoot them, and I kind of want to activate him this turn because of tactical readiness. Gotta be mindful of that dang uh, On my way. purifier exploding and destroying my cover. Fancy laser sight, superior scope. It's Come never, it's never too late to have good loot. It's just in case I want to switch things around. And I want to shred your armor. As much as I want that loot, you had to miss, though. Shot fail to connect. This warrants a bond, though, since I have everything still available. And j -Pod can't really do a whole lot anyway when that thing's still in full cover. In all seriousness. So by all means, take your better shot this time. I figured that wooden, wall wooden fence would be gone by now. It feels like it should after two plasma gatling guns in its face. Shrain a bunch of holes in it, but that's XCOM for you, isn't it? And I don't even need to reload. What else do I want to do? Not a whole lot, aside from maybe a conceal. Oh, I already used conceal, never mind. So I guess you take your shot. See if you kill it. Since we know Scythe got her promotion, so it's anyone's game right now. You're implacable. I keep forgetting about my abilities. But this is a useful one to have for you. Now the mech just needs to die. And if possible, we activate the gatekeeper. At least when it moves or shoots with uh, Ananya. Here's hoping. I should kill zone with that said too. That would be an amazing way to start up. Since even if I shoot... Yeah, I shoot with the... I shoot the gatekeeper when it tries to shoot... The objective and then Ananya shoots at the prize because they run to me. Where is Scythe though? It's really important she plays a part in this and I need to make sure I see them too. In short order. I, I don't think I really need to go over there since after all we are talking about a Reaper and they're already heavily wounded because of the Shred Storm can perfect. So we're gonna use a free reload here. Batman can easily destroy the mech, so this is just going to warrant the kill zone. Everything is in my kill zone. And the... Oh wait, I did hit them with the Shredstorm can, so why didn't they activate? Maybe I should be thankful for that, but really I'm not. I'm a little bit offended. Because that just means they're not going to move when the kill zone starts hitting them after all. Hell, they're not even going to activate, I don't think. And I don't think I want to move forward either with that said. We'll see what happens. Maybe I just hunker down for safety's sake. Oh, and parkour activate. If I knew that, I would have gone to a better position. Come on. Ah, uh, kill zone did nothing. Oh, that's probably because you don't actually see him. Well, that makes more sense. Ah, uh, well. And this would be a perfect opportunity for Serial, too, let's not kid ourselves, since I am on the same plane as them. 
Oh, and you would just straight up see them. But they're all reactivate. They should be all reactivate, so this is not a concern. Who am I kidding? Alright, I'm completely wrong. This game makes no sense to me anymore. Since I shot him with a friggin' Shredstorm, Shredstorm cannon and nothing actually happened with it. But you know what would make me feel better? A frostbite on this gatekeeper. Ooh, right in the retina. Right in the eye, that's... You're gonna be feeling that, uh... Cairo Freeze. Crypto... What is... What is the damn t term? The Cairo Freezing Process. Ah, I ruined the joke now. I'm an awful human being. But nonetheless... I don't have cereal anymore. I rushed it thinking it had no value and now I come to realize it's real value. Which actually would be pretty handy for the final missions anyway since I'm not really going to get much of a height advantage. But can you get a kill is the real question. Ooh, 100%. Yes, you can. I love these tracer rounds already. They seem like a bit of a joke, but for a dedicated sniper, there is some merit to them since they're going to be so far back more often than not. And it turns a 90% chance to hit into a 100% chance to hit. Let's be serious. Which is a drastic, drastic difference when you don't want to take chances. Sevlana, You don't have an autoloader. Which really kind of stinks. I would love for you to change shot. Maybe you... Dual strike's an option. Dual strike's a perfect option here. Since you, I'm hoping you can shoot that, you're going to be on fire, aren't you? I, I want to make sure you see the gatekeeper if I do this play. Oh no, you're not reloading. That's forbidden. And you do have the ammo for two shots anyway, so you should be okay regardless. Maximize our damage on this cursed thing. Kill off the gatekeeper. Hopefully it doesn't explode on you now that I think of it. It may actually explode on you. If we do kill, so you may have to move or do your rest of your turn first. Good. There goes armor. Accuracy is improved for J-Pod. Give me a critical hit. Thank you. Now, what other fun things can we do with J-Pod? You could do a point-blank range shotgun shot. Since the slash is kind of not worth it. Even with uh, melee vulnerability, it's a joke compared to a shotgun shot. Let's not kid ourselves. Let's see that juicy critical hit chance. 95 damage to the head, please. Oh, it survived. I should have maybe done a, kill, a dead eye. I could still shoot it, can I? Hmm, interesting. This is the situation, though, for a combat protocol. Or a Scythe could kill it. Can I get better value out of Scythe? I can with Dual Strike. So no questions asked, I think of dual strike in this thing. To make sure it dies. I think Sivlana's is going to get exploded on though with that said. Just because I think the explosion gets larger. Ooh, and even just a regular shot doesn't reveal her. Perfect. One more hit. Which may. It's going to be tricky because I want a combat protocol. But at the same time, you're a guaranteed critical hit. If you... Shoot at the gatekeeper. Oh, you can't even see our other sectoid anyway. This is the tricky part. I want to make sure you see a thing, because clearly Mist does. And you only see one. Uh, I'll just do a safe play. We're going to deal with a bit of mind control. Well, let's see. What do, we, what do we hit with the combat protocol? We do kill you. So before we do that, let's get Batman to join in on the fun. Oh, and I, let's not forget about combat presence. That's going to be valuable too. It could pretty much just kill these things. Who do I combat presence? Probably Sevlana. She's got the best chance to hit, I think. I will stand with you. And then maybe we kill a Sectoy in the process. Oh, that's not true, damn it. I forgot about the ammo count. So Batman, maybe you're our only hope. No chance to critically hit, but you could still get a hair trigger. Ooh, they're actually mind benders. Maybe you could kill it with a melee attack. 
Not a good chance to hit, but really, your shot's no better. Take it. Take that shot. Oh, I just realized this was a pull, not a grab. This could still cost me. Well, this is going to be a weird game of whack-a-mole, sort of. Can we finish off? Oh, I'm, I'm wondering, what happened to your legs there, uh, demon? This game is getting wackier and wackier. And you only do 7 damage, and it's a guaranteed critical. I apologize for this. But I think I'm just going to let it sit for a moment while I comp the plate. <laughs> it's a guaranteed critical hit, so it's a guaranteed kill at least. I just don't know what happens to Sivlana. Okay, it didn't explode on us. Perfect. And now... Yeah. Together, Let's use teamwork to just combat protocol the other sectoid then. Please. And I can't remember if we still have the other mindbender if it's actually dead. No, I think that means mission complete. I still hate that we don't get to see the drone, the gremlin action, mind you. But mission complete. Are down and the area is that was a pretty flawless run otherwise. I think we're getting our groove back. Now, only thing left to do is to get to the final mission. We have, what, about nine days? Well, actually, I think it's six or seven days till Avatar Autopsy. And eight days until my bond train is done with uh, Shimon and Werewolf. And then our roster will be ready for the missions to come. And then we can finally put this nearly year long. Well, actually, it's more like six month uh, endeavor behind us. Mainly because of how slow I've been getting these videos out recently. In all truth, I was hoping to maybe get this done before Battletech came out. And it had potential to do that, but I got sloppy nearly a few months before its release. Now, what do I want for my final ability? I don't think I want Squad Sight or my Scout for crying out loud. Homie Mine? That can be fun. Just throw on an enemy so that way it explodes when I shoot him, rather than shoot the mine. I think, though, ultimately I want Banish. I don't think I have additional ammo on it, which can stink, but it allows for more damage in a turn, even though it's not an optimal use of Banish. Since really you want to expand it magazine to at least get more shots in. But since everything has double health, it's not like I'm going to kill him very well. I wonder, does Homie Mine improve it any, any, at all? All shrapnel bonuses, so it's shared with normal claymo claymores, so... I don't think I care about that, and there's no other traits I care about. I don't think I do, aside from maybe Shredder itself. Maybe. I have... I Maybe I'll still have the AP for it, actually, for both, since I'm not planning on getting one of these uh, top-tier skills. Perfect. Hollow targeting? That's an idea. Since I don't need anything else from her. What is left that I want? I'm just trying to think if I want these XCOM AP for any other soldier as well. I don't really have the AP for anything on its own anyway. You so I think we have, have ooh, Undying Loyalty. Blow to the so today. that had a chance of Avan troops being turned into raised into zombies, which maybe is a good thing to negate. Mind you, there are only 16 health zombies, but still, it's enough health that it keeps me from one shine, which is still good enough to get rid of, in all seriousness. So I'm happy with that exchange, getting rid of that. Now, let's finish this up. We have about 8 days left. 9 days for the bond train. Let's do this. And give me that intel. Message coming through. Everything's going well. Don't you worry about it. It is unfortunate. They're all. That your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Do you hear that? I'm mediocre. In all seriousness, is this mediocre? We're about to win the game. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything that helps me here? Because I don't even think it's possible again. Advent you to join me for the final mission. I don't need Falter anymore. We'll give it a try. I don't need the black market stuff, but everything else doesn't really help me for combat itself. So I think we're stuck with this. 
Sabotage is still doing its thing. That's getting... The supplies are getting more engrossed. Which is fine, we could just use it. For when the planet is liberated from the aliens. We'll have plenty of spare goods. Let's get this done. How much time for the bond? Three days? We're almost done. Oh, and this is the final mission all that. I'm fine with that. We will move in a couple days, don't worry. What do we need, though? Wow. This is our chance to strike This is a lot cheaper than I thought it'd be. The network tower, we can Squad the crit chance. The are doing. No that's amazing. Dodge by 33. That's not so amazing. One free use of running gun for everyone. Perfect. And squad will start with squad concealment. I'm not going to launch that mission yet, but I expect it to be a lot more expensive because, again, legend difficulty, deviling everything. Come on, give me that bond train. And more, oh, combat intelligence for Fargus. So that was my last uh, combat mission, was it? And I don't think I can get anything really short, can I? Nothing that's like two days, huh? Is that even possible? Hmm, no, nothing of note. We'll just send some small fry to help slow down the Avatar project, I guess. So Paladin, you're in, and who's your buddy going to be? Some random specialist. So Teja, you're in. Perfect. Match made in heaven. And his resolve is going to build up as a result. Although I hate to break it to you, by the time you get back, the world's going to be saved. And no one's going to really care about your accomplishments there. I hate to break it to you. But yet, Teja's will and resolve is still going to be on high as a result of this mission. I have made a number Pre of autopsy is done. I don't think I care about that. Anything else I care about? No. Not really. I will send word as soon as Not in the slightest. So how many more days left for the bond? One day, and I think there's still side train left to do. No, bond's not done yet. Now, question. Did I get werewolf all her skills? Or does she still need to finish up? Two days for Soul Steel. I'll let that finish. Since there's no pressing issue just yet. Sure, everyone's being... Was it convoyed over for extraction? But I think that just speeds up the Avatar project to kind of force the issue. So you're done? Continue train? Oh, look, there's going to be nothing left to train, is there? You're not even on, you're not even on the list anymore because you're completely trained. I think we're ready. I think we are ready now. Let me just have one final look at my roster, especially Fargus, because of her increased uh, combat intelligence, which isn't all that impressive. She does get more eight ability points, though. So, I think this is my roster, ultimately. We're going to have Anonya, like and got a shot where is... Well, I have to rem I think I can only take three soldiers for the first easy, mission, we'll so plan is Anonya. No where is Scythe? I'm getting distracted because of uh, a Central giving, giving us that bit of a pep top or talk there. Okay, there's Scythe as well as my third. Well, actually, I'm not sure who's going to be my third. I'm going to have to double check if it is a three-man squad or not. Because that might be pretty tricky with a three-man squad, but I think we're all set. We got a good roster of Colonels. We have Stimpy back up fully repaired. Don't ask me how he has 37 will of 40 when he has no will to begin with. But he is good to go as well. We have our specialists. We have J-Pod. We have Werewolf. Yeah, all, all the roster is ready. I think we're as good as we're going to be. So thank you everyone for watching. The campaign is about to end. Really damn soon.